Glory to God, hallelujah, Wednesday evening worship service. Hello, beloved church family, praise God, hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ is coming back soon. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait, hallelujah. It's like Christmas morning, amen, amen. Isn't it, isn't it like Christmas morning, praise God, when you're just, when you know, amen, when you know that uh, I have a gift, amen, and glory to God, hallelujah, we already received the perfect gift of God. His name is Lord Jesus Christ, and Fa Father God just bless us with the gooder and gooder, amen? It just keeps getting gooder and gooder. He's the only one good, amen? Life more abundantly. And the only way we know how to describe more abundantly, His name is Lord Jesus Christ. And that gift that God gave us through Lord Jesus Christ, that eternal gift, hallelujah. Many of you beat me to it, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit. The seal, hallelujah, the seal that is forever, for all of eternity. Our seal, hallelujah. We are redeemed through Christ our Lord and His presence reigns within us. Amen. That His peace, hallelujah, His peace. Say that with me, beloved church family, peace. Glory to God. You see, peace is not a matter of saying peace be with you to be religious. Amen. Peace has a name and His name is Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. How do you acquire the peace of God? Well, it's, it's simple. Praise God. It's simple in the masterpiece. Amen. In the divine plan and orchestration of God our Father. How do you have peace with God Almighty, God the Father? See, before we even get into the Word, Holy Spirit says He wants us to be reminded that in the Old Covenant, in the Old Testament, old, say it with me, old, in the old, dead and gone, in the old, in the past, amen, in the old, God was chasing after disobedient children disobedient children amen you ever go to Walmart and you see a, a parent chasing after their kids mainly it's around the toy section <laughs> praise God yeah if you go there you'll also see me being chased by Trish you, you know come on let's go just quit piddling right amen and I, and I love those kind of illustrations because you see the parents going come on now come on Timmy right come on let's go I don't want to go you know they still want to play right well, unfortunately, that, that was us in the Old Covenant, Old Testament. Disobedient children of God that wanted nothing to do with the perfect father and wanted to be like the world. Wanted to be like the world. We even said unto God Almighty, I don't want nothing to do with you. Give us a king. Like the rest of the nations. Give us a king that we could see, that we could speak to. That, that, that we don't have to fear. That we, and all God wanted to do was just have... A relationship with his children. Amen. And glory to God because God is God Almighty. We can't understand God. We just trust. Amen. That glory to God our Father. That everything was divinely orchestrated. It was a masterpiece of God. That here is the word of God in the flesh. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. The King of Kings. The Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. The Alpha and the Omega. Our Lord Jesus Christ. He come in the flesh, amen, fulfilled everything, fulfilled everything. And say it with me, beloved church, everything, amen, to perfection. My Lord Jesus Christ is perfect, is yours? Hallelujah, I know many of you said, my Lord is perfect. My Lord Jesus is perfect. There's not one blemish on Father God's sacrifice. He sacrificed the perfect one, his beloved son. His blood was spilled on Calvary's cross for you and me. Say with me, masterpiece, amen. And I know who I'm talking to. I know who I'm worshiping with. Glory to God. The Lord Jesus Christ took upon all the sins, past, present, and future, all, all the world, every soul, everything, took it upon his perfect body so that it could be paid for. That sin, death, no longer has a sting, amen, that we are covered by God's blood through Lord Jesus Christ. And it's through that redemption that we have Holy Spirit, masterpiece, amen? That we receive the gift of salvation from the God of salvation, the joy of our salvation, hallelujah. His name is Lord Jesus Christ, that we received it freely, that we cannot boast because he is the only one that did a perfect work, hallelujah, glory to God. And it's in this redemption that when we are truly sincere in repentance, saying that I killed myself, I crucified myself in Lord Jesus Christ. 
It's no longer I that live, it is Christ. Galatians 2.20, amen? That now lives within me. And I live through the faith, in the faith. Who is our only faith? In Lord Jesus Christ, amen? And it's when you live life this way, knowing that your identity is no longer of this world, it has nothing to do with your mommy or daddy, God bless them, amen? You honor your, your earthly parents, hallelujah. Yes, God said so, you honor them, love them, praise God. But now we are now born again, born again into the kingdom of God. And how are we born again? Hallelujah, the manifestation of Holy Spirit. Say that with me, manifestation of Holy Spirit. And hallelujah, we are God's masterpiece. And right now, praise God, Holy Spirit said, let's open up in prayer as we always do. Praise God. I am so excited. Are you? Say amen with me. Praise God. Amen. Heavenly Father, as we plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, we know, Lord Jesus Christ, that in your very name, that every foul and garbage thing, Satan himself has to stop and run away, Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, as we plead your holy and precious blood, because we are all members of Lord Jesus Christ, we bless you, Father God. And we know, Father, this is the only way that you are blessed. The only way is to say Jesus Christ is Lord. And Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you. I thank you for every breath in Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we worship you. You are our God. Open Arms Community Church is your church, paid for in full through our Lord Jesus Christ. That, Father God, we worship you in spirit, Holy Spirit, and in truth. That, Lord Jesus Christ, is your perfect son, your beloved, the Messiah that was sacrificed, that was slain on Calvary's cross for all of our sins, all of our wrongdoing. Father, thank you for your perfect sacrifice. Thank you for Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we bless you in, in, in every worship service, whoever is speaking. Holy Spirit, you have all the glory, honor, and praise that we are just a mouthpiece. And Father, may I only speak what you want spoken. Father, I thank you so much that you bless us with Pastor John, Pastor Mary, Father God, with all of our elders, our deacons, the leadership team, Father God. We are one in you. And Father God, for the entire congregation, our entire church family, Father, thank you that you have divinely orchestrated our steps, Father God, to be one, to be rooted, to be planted, Father God, because the harvester is coming soon. And Father, we're just so thankful that we are overflowing with your fruit, Holy Spirit, for it's all about you, Lord Jesus Christ. Bless us, Father God, with life-changing revelation. Thank you, Father God, that because you are the masterpiece, that we are yours. And it's in Jesus Christ's holy and precious name we pray. And all God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. Woo! God bless you guys. Praise God. Give somebody a high five. Mm, amen. Hallelujah. If you're, with, if you're just by yourself, give Holy Spirit a high five. Amen. Because you're never alone. Amen. And praise God, don't forget the angels. Hallelujah. The angels love high fives. Praise God. So it's no surprise to you that we're going to we're going to be simply in Ephesians 2.10. And this graphic, praise God, comes from this past Sunday's worship service. Hallelujah. And as, as, as I pray many of you know that in worship, this is what we do. We, we, it, this, this is, hallelujah, say with me, who I am. Amen. It doesn't matter if you're in front of a camera. It doesn't matter if you're in front of people. It doesn't matter if you're in front of your wife or your children or your co-workers. It doesn't matter if you're by yourself. Say it with me, I am who I am. And let's say good and gooder to bless agape. Who is agape? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Say this with me, I am his masterpiece. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Right there. See, right there. Glory to God. Holy Spirit deposited right now in my spirit that there's some of us that have trouble receiving that. And I ask you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ to stick with, stick with the worship service, amen? Just, just plug in in full transparency, amen? Get out of this. Do that with me. Get out, of, get out of our stinking thinking, and now we just go into trust. And when we, when we switch gears into that mode of trusting that Lord Jesus Christ is perfect, what he went through was absolutely horrible, torture, excruciating pain, right? right? Excruciating. Remember, that Latin word comes from the crucifixion. 
Speaking of Latin words, right? Salvator mundi, remember? Savior of the world, hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ, amen? But that Latin word, excruciating, the root word comes from crucifixion. And the devil come up with another word because the devil doesn't want to hear about the crucifixion of Christ. Why? Because he is the God of salvation, amen? Lord Jesus Christ. So of course the enemy wants to take away the attention off of that and come up with a different word, right? But can you imagine the excruciating pain, which was truly the excruciating part of the crucifixion of Lord Jesus Christ? Wasn't a matter of what he physically endured on that cross for you and me being tortured, skin and flesh being ripped off of his body, being, be, being beaten to a bloody pulp, being spat on, the, 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 the thorns, the crown of thorns being pushed into his skull, right? Having to carry that, that cross that, that you cannot imagine. Right now, as we're in worship, you cannot imagine as far as just, just the pain, the, the, the excruciating pain. But God says, that wasn't it. It was being separated from the Father for the first time. Because of your sins, because of my sins. And when it gets intimate this way with Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, Holy Spirit, peace. God of peace, Holy Spirit. Say his name, beloved church, man. Holy Spirit. Right now, he's blessing us, saying, you are my masterpiece. Why? Because the master, the master has given us his peace. Amen? Did you get that? The master, Lord Jesus Christ, has left us his peace. Amen? And glory to God, he is Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Let's just give God praise. Amen. So we're, we're just going to be in Ephesians 2.10. Now I know we concluded as far as on Sunday morning with this. We went quickly over it. Praise God. Because Holy Spirit said, Let just, let's just move on. And the glory of God is, is that he, 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 he divinely orchestrated this moment so that we can get into the written word and allow his presence to flow. So let's just go through it quickly. Amen. Praise God. For we are, say with me, we are, amen. Say gooder, I am, amen. We are, I am, God's masterpiece, hallelujah. Now before we move forward, God wants us to understand in trust, in worship, the masterpiece of what was said earlier before we even got into the sermon, amen. Before we got into the preaching, teaching, whatever you want to call it, is that when you look at the written word of God from front to back, there is no question as far as agape. Amen? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. From beginning to end, Alpha and Omega. Amen? The glorious masterpiece of how the written word is transpired through the beginning all the way to the end of Revelation. Amen? Is you see as far as how God's order is transpired and how it's all laid out amen and how it's all laid out and the centerpiece the masterpiece as you know it is Lord Jesus Christ manifested in the flesh amen and I love this because as you know as you know the carpenter himself right the carpenter himself building with your hands right building and I love it because the Word of God always talks about as far as how he is the master, right? That, 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 that he, he molds us, right? That he is the carpenter, that he builds us, that he is the cornerstone, hallelujah. That is the Alpha and Omega, Lord Jesus Christ. That everything, praise God, everything is centered around Lord Jesus Christ. He is the only way, truth, and life, hallelujah. So when we understand as far as God's masterpiece, now, now, you see, we, we have to get to the point where, who do you say I am? Right? Who do you say Lord Jesus Christ is? Amen? You see, I was, I was, I was in, a, in a dark season for, uh, for many years. And this is, before, this is before as far as Holy Spirit coming into my life. I'm talking about just being religious, being filled with religion, being filled with just scripture, right? But what fuels the scripture was not Holy Spirit, it was pride. 
And, and I want to explain that because the Holy Spirit said to bring more clarity behind that. Is that if you are prideful as far as in your relationship with God, first of all, there's no relationship. Because it's all about me, 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 and what I want to do. Cancel that, rebuke that in Jesus' name. That's nothing but demonic. Amen? That, 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 that has nothing to do with the relationship with agape. It's all about what you want to do. What you want. What, what, what satisfies you. What music you like. Right? What, what version of the Bible you want. Uh, what you know, denomination you want to be. Right? What, everything is about you, 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 and you cater to yourself. You see, Holy Spirit is not that way. Amen? Holy Spirit is God Almighty, and He lives in you and in me as long as you have Jesus Christ as Lord. And in this relationship with God, God expects to have intimacy, transparency, right? And exchange, right? Prayer and listening, right? Speaking, right? Listening, amen? We serve a faith God, and you believe in your heart, you speak out of your mouth, amen? That's who God is, faith, right? And so when we understand this, that there's a relationship with God, God is saying, are you my masterpiece? You see, who do you say I am goes a lot deeper into how we are rooted in agape, amen? In Holy Spirit, hallelujah. Is it Holy Spirit fruit that is overflowing from your life? Praise God. There's no question of Holy Spirit fruit. You could, really, you could read it in Galatians 5, verse 22, right? Is, is it God's presence in your life that it, it starts with agape? It starts with love, right? That's why Holy Spirit fruit starts. First fruit is love. And the love is so powerful and magnificent because what Lord Jesus Christ said in his first command is love God, right? With everything. And that's what Holy Spirit's first fruit is, hallelujah, love. And it's this fruit of love, not the worldly love, but agape overflowing through you, that now the following fruit follows. Joy, peace, right? Kindness, patience. You, you just, you go on and on. Is that the fruit that is flowing through his masterpiece? Amen? And glory to God, I pray that you're sitting there in this worship service going, oh, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. I am your masterpiece because your Holy Spirit is flowing through me. Praise God. Now there's some of you right now saying, oh, well, right now in my life, there's just a lot of division. There's a lot of chaos. There's a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of bickering, complaining. There's a lot of grumbling, right? There's a lot of division. This doesn't put question as far as your status as a masterpiece as long as you have the peace of the master. Remember, Lord Jesus Christ, amen? Right now, Holy Spirit is asking you, well, in my presence, I am showing you what is causing that chaos, what is causing the division. And I'm giving you the anointing and the power through Lord Jesus Christ that Holy Spirit says, I'm giving you wisdom now to rebuke it. I'm giving you wisdom now in how you should walk by faith, not by sight, right? Because isn't it, isn't it obvious that one of, the, one of the greatest deceptions is how the enemy wants to make the storm look bigger than it is so that we take our eyes off of Lord Jesus and look at that wave, right? And then what, just start sinking? Say with me, no more in Jesus' name, amen? So masterpiece is, who do you say Lord Jesus Christ is? Because once you know how perfect Lord Jesus Christ is, I'm going to tell you, when you just say Lord Jesus Christ, when you, listen, bottom, at bottom line, at the end of the day, Jesus Christ is Lord. When I say end of the day, I'm not talking about the end of the day like tonight when you go to sleep. I'm talking about the end of our day when that trumpet sounds. All that matters is, hallelujah, Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. So I encourage you, beloved church family, that no matter what you're facing, whether it's the mountaintops or the deepest of the valleys, say it with me, Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. And it's right there that Holy Spirit will bless us with life-changing revelation to truly receive as far as masterpiece. Amen. Masterpiece. Hallelujah. Say that with me. Masterpiece. Amen. It continues on to say he has created us anew 
in Christ Jesus. Now notice, we just went through the top two lines, for we are God's masterpiece, and Holy Spirit is teaching us to really meditate, embrace, worship, and allow His presence to flow in what a masterpiece Lord Jesus Christ is. Hallelujah. How He is the center. How He is the center of everything. Amen. Of everything. Even when you look at the written word of God, amen? It doesn't go Old Testament, Old Covenant, and then a New Covenant. It doesn't do that, beloved church family. No, rebuke that. It goes Old Testament, Old Covenant, New Testament, right? New Testament. There's a new testimony now. Hallelujah. The testimony is the masterpiece has arrived. His name is Lord Jesus Christ, amen? And then after Lord Jesus Christ defeated sin in all his glory, right? Took all the sin back to hell where it belongs. Every garbage thing he took back to the pit of hell. And he saved every soul. And the glory of God is the God of peace, Holy Spirit, resurrected, the perfect one. And now we have the new covenant. Amen. Say with me, I am new covenant in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's just give God praise. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. So now we continue on the next line. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus. Right here, just in Ephesians 2, verse 10, right here, Holy Spirit is saying, now that you know the masterpiece, and the masterpiece is in you, and the peace of the master is in you and in me, now Holy Spirit says, you're born again. You're made new because you have repented and Lord Jesus Christ is glorified, is magnified, is honored. And Holy Spirit says, I will bless you with life-changing revelation. And he says, I make you new in Christ Jesus. That's Holy Spirit's presence in our life, the Holy of Holies. Touch your heart. Hallelujah. Say with me, I am Holy of Holies in Jesus' name. Amen. So we can do. Look at how all this lines up. So we can do. Who is the doer of the word? Amen. Not a trick question. Amen. We don't roll like that. Praise God. There's, there's no tricks here, right? Tricks are for kids. There's no tricks here, right? Listen, beloved child of God, who was hovering over the earth, waiting for the word to be spoken, Lord Jesus Christ? Lord Jesus Christ spoke. Hallelujah. The Father released Lord Jesus Christ. Let there be light. Who was the doer of the word? Holy Spirit. Amen. To do the good things he has planned for us long ago. And glory to God, this is the bottom line, amen? The bottom line, that when we receive the masterpiece and now we have the peace of the master and now we are known as his masterpiece. Say with me, I am his masterpiece, amen? Now you know in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, the name above every name, that every breath you take, take a breath with me, beloved church family. Holy Spirit, thank you. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Hundreds of years from now, thousands of years from now, I don't know. But you, whoever I'm speaking, whoever you is, you took that breath. Because you know Jesus Christ is Lord and Holy Spirit, I need your help. Amen? And guess what? The Comforter, the Advocate, God Almighty has moved on the inside through the perfect one. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And now what Lord, Lord Jesus Christ says, through the anointing of agape in you and in me, is he says, now you, speaking of Holy Spirit, you are able to do greater things, to do all the good works that Father God has lined out for you. And how do we do that? It's through worship. It's through listening to the Father. Hallelujah. I love it. I love it. I love it when you hear worshipers, all of our beloved family, amen, children of God, how they talk about when they worship with the Father, right? Like Pastor John, amen, he walks out on his farm, right, on the walk back, just listening, right? Many of us go into our secret place, into our, in our closet or in, in, a, in a room that the Holy Spirit laid on your heart to make his room, and we shut that door, we close that door, right? Just sit in his presence, on your knees, on your face, just between you and all of heaven, God Almighty, agape, and you're the only one. May I tell you, beloved church family, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to kick the devil in the teeth. 
I pray in the Lord Jesus Christ's name that his sword just cuts it off in Jesus' name. That you're the only one that matters. And God wants this intimacy with you because it's in this intimacy when his light shines through you that not only does he expose every plot and deception of the evil one, but he gives you the anointing and the power through Christ, through the anointing of Holy Spirit to cut off every foul thing. He gives you wisdom. Amen. And he lines up your steps before you in Jesus' name. Amen. I love that, that he planned for us long ago. God is Alpha and Omega. Amen. Beginning and the end. Praise God. And God, God has lined up, Father has lined up for you every blessing, which means the enemy wants you to look at it as trouble. The enemy wants you to look at it like, oh my gosh, what's happening? What are we going to do? Right? Oh my goodness, right? And how Holy Spirit wants to bless you with encouragement is God was already there. And because you are his masterpiece, he has already lined up the blessings, the breakthrough, the healing, the anointing, hallelujah, the gooder and gooder and gooder in Jesus' name, amen. Do you receive that, hallelujah? I receive it in Jesus' name, amen. Listen, I know who I'm surrounded with. If you don't want the blessings that Lord Jesus Christ paid for, look, I am going to freely take it for myself in Jesus' name, amen. Listen, whether you're by yourself listening to this message and Holy Spirit is just blessing your socks off, or whether you're with your entire family, praise God, I pray so, amen. You let your family know, did you take your blessings that Lord Jesus Christ paid for? Amen, don't let, don't let Brother Joey take it, because I will in Jesus' name, because it's all paid for, hallelujah. And glory to God, God is head over heels in love with you, amen. I just want to say thank you so much for blessing God the way you do, amen. Lord Jesus Christ is a masterpiece, amen. Holy Spirit is a masterpiece, amen. Father God, hallelujah, masterpiece. We know our God is agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And the peace of the Master now lives in you and me. And glory to God because of his peace, the God of peace. We are his masterpiece. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> glory to God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your word through Christ Jesus our Lord. You are the living word, Lord Jesus. And you are alive in every one of us as your beloved children. And Holy Spirit, we thank you for the power of your word, the power, Father God, of your testimony, the power of your blood. Father, as we plead your holy and precious blood for all of eternity, we know we're covered by you, Father. But Father God, we are sorry when we fail you and hurt you. Father, we are sorry. We are sorry, Father. And we thank you, Father God, for your forgiveness through Christ our Lord. And Holy Spirit, change me. Change me to be everything that you paid for, Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you so much, Father God, that you love us. We thank you, Father God, for teaching us. You are our only teacher, Father. And we go through no man, only you, Lord Jesus Christ. For you have all the glory, honor, and praise. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, have your way. Charge every angel over us to protect us and fight for us, Father. Thank you, Father God, that we are covered by your blood. And it's in Jesus Christ's holy name and all God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. Woo, hallelujah. God is good. Hallelujah. All the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Praise God. If you have seed to sow, praise God. I pray you do in Jesus' name. I pray that his seed is overflowing in your life. Amen. And I thank you so much for your generos generosity and obedience in blessing God's holy church. Amen. You want to sow your seed, you can go to oacchurch.com, oacchurch.com, and over there there's an offering tab, and you can give electronically, and it is secure. Praise God. And I just want to say thank you so much for your heart of worship. Hallelujah. Listen, all the glory belongs to our Heavenly Father. Amen. And we want to give all of God's children every, every way to not only be in the written word, but to just be in intimacy with Holy Spirit. And also to be obedient, to give back what belongs to our Heavenly Father. Because it's all His anyway. Amen. It's all His. Say it with me. It's all yours, Lord. Hallelujah. And I just want to say thank you with all my heart. We love you so much, beloved church family. Praise God. Thank you so much for blessing God first. And loving Him with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And allowing Holy Spirit to flow through you to love your neighbor. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. 
Oh, hallelujah. Love you so much. God bless you guys. We pray for you every day. Amen. Miss you so much. I'm just so excited. Praise God. Invite somebody to church, please, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Be bold. Praise God. Be bold. Amen. Just, just, just invite everybody. Listen, you may have that aunt or uncle that always shoots you down. It doesn't matter. Just invite them anyway. Praise God. And I pray in Lord Jesus Christ's name, hallelujah, that here soon, it's not about the numbers, but we're just asking all of God's angels for a harvest before the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Love you so much, beloved church family. God bless you guys. Thank you so much for being a blessing to Lord Jesus Christ. See you in the next half an hour. Mwah!